Hello everyone, and today what I want to show you is a uh, kind of photo editing favorite trick, and that's taking a picture and making it black and white, but only allowing some color to come through. You'll see this in a lot of different kind of professional photography uh, and different kind of things. So let's go through it. So the first thing you gotta do is find your picture. I have one here I'm gonna use. All right, so I'm gonna take this picture, I'm gonna make it black and white, but then I'm just gonna have the yellow, the flowers come through. So I found my picture. What I need to do is I'm gonna copy this URL. You could also instead save this picture to your computer, uh, whichever way works best, but I'm gonna use Pixlr. So all I need to do is just copy the URL. I'm gonna come over here to my Pixlr window. I'm gonna say open image from URL. I'm gonna paste that URL right there. I'll hit okay. And my picture comes in. Now the first thing I'm gonna do, is so I'm gonna come over to my layers, and I'm gonna copy this one. So I just right clicked and said duplicate, and now I got two copies of it. So this one's gonna be my color, this one's gonna be my black and white. So what I'm gonna do is make sure this one's clicked. I'm gonna come up to adjustment. I'm gonna say hue and saturation. And I'm gonna take the saturation one, I'm gonna crank it all the way down. So you now see the picture looks black and white. So I'll hit OK. So I have a black and white layer and a color layer. Now to make the color come through, it's as actually as easy as making sure you're clicked on the black and white. I can click my eraser. And actually I'm gonna zoom in a little bit because I know I'm just gonna do the flowers. I'll grab my eraser and all I have to do is start deleting. So what I'm actually doing is I'm erasing from the black and white layer some of the picture. But because they're stacked right behind each other, I can do this and make it stand out. So all you'd have to do then is take your time. Oop, I did that a little too much. Just take your time and you can go through this and have some color come through. Now when you get to the finer points in here where the flower gets a little smaller or you kind of have these little um, harder to reach spots, remember you can change your eraser size by coming up here where it says brush and you can select the different ones. Now your question would be is if you want a hard edged one or kind of the blur. That's kind of up to you and what works best. And sometimes you just gotta play around with it a little bit to find out what works. All right, thanks for watching and have a great day.